Hey, what's up? Welcome to my weekly pregnancy journal. Today I'm going to be talking all about weeks 26 and 27 of my second pregnancy. As far as development goes, in week 26, baby is about 14 and a half inches in length and weighs just under 2 pounds. Babies who are born around this time typically have a much better chance of survival. It's still really early, but any earlier than this, their survival rate is definitely not as good. Hopefully baby will stay in for at least until full term at 37 weeks. Baby is starting to enter a very active period in their growth and development and they are just getting more active in the womb because they're kind of running out of room, which I've definitely noticed over the last couple of weeks. Baby is starting to practice the sucking reflex in order to prepare for nursing or even just bottle feeding. The baby's joints are not yet connected, but that is gonna be occurring over the next couple of weeks. Baby's tiny eyelids have begun to open and the retinas have started to develop as well. So that is pretty much it for week 26. Week 27, baby is about 14.8 inches in length and just over two pounds. Baby's eyes are now open and those eyelids are able to start blinking. The eyes may start to have some color, but the final pigmentation requires exposure to light. So until baby is born, we won't know the color of their eyes. And sometimes even after they're born, their eyes change colors a little bit. Baby is now able to recognize different levels of light even inside the womb. Baby is starting to get fatter <laughs> as or as fat is depositing underneath their skin. Muscles are starting to develop some tone as well. At this point, at 27 weeks, it says that she has a 95% chance of survival if born soon, which is encouraging. Again, hopefully she's not born for another couple weeks. The lungs are better prepared to breathe, but if she were to be born soon, she would probably still need some medical assistance to help her with breathing. And that is it as far as development goes for week 27. Week 26 was a busy week. Uh, my daughter had her 18 month appointment and she got some vaccines and we took her in for her just like well visit. Um, everything checked out well she's healthy and she's growing so that is good these were the last shots that she needs until like four years old i think outside of like a flu shot and hopefully at some point a covid shot but good stuff there and then actually later in that same week i had an appointment with my ob i actually went into my ob's office but i saw one of the midwives and that was uh, my second in-person visit with throughout this whole pregnancy which to me is just crazy I feel like with my daughter I had so many more in-person visits obviously all of them were in person um, this time around they've all been for the most part virtual and because at my anatomy scan there were like no complications or anything that looked abnormal with this baby I don't have as much follow up as I did with my daughter because like with my daughter she had some stuff going on with her kidneys so we were following up a lot more frequently and I had more ultrasounds and whatnot. So it feels weird this pregnancy because I just don't really know a whole lot of what's going on but I guess that's just kind of how it is right now. So this appointment was in person and they took my blood pressure, I got my weight. Um, I'm a little disappointed with how much weight I have gained at this point. I was hoping to be more in the 20 to 25 pound range, but I am already up to 30. With my daughter, I gained 50, and I was able to get all of but like eight pounds off. So I started this pregnancy about eight pounds heavier than I started my first pregnancy. And like I said, I'm already 30 pounds up from when I started this pregnancy so I really haven't been stepping on the scale and that's probably my own fault but it's just like I don't know it's discouraging for sure because I feel like I've been a lot more active this pregnancy I can't say that my diet has been the best but I definitely don't feel like I've changed too much so I guess it's all the extra carbs but I don't know kind of bummed about that 
They listened to baby on the Doppler and she sounded good and they also measured my belly and I was measuring right on 26 weeks so that was good and exciting. We talk a little bit about my pelvic pain and the midwife actually gave me a uh, card for a massage therapist to contact to kind of help with the pelvic pain since I can't start physical therapy until April. So we are getting closer to April so I am looking forward to starting physical therapy pretty soon. Hopefully it will really make a difference in some of this discomfort that I've been feeling throughout this pregnancy. I have noticed an increase in like Braxton Hicks contractions especially at work. I've been trying to drink more water and sit when I can but it's definitely tough working 12 hour midnights at a hospital in an ICU. So. I'm doing what I can, but my doctors have been made aware of everything and right now they just encourage me to rest when I can and try to take it easy as much as possible. So I'm trying to follow their advice, but it is hard when you have an 18 month old who is a nut job <laughs> running around and you're chasing her everywhere. Week 27, I actually, we had planned a trip to Austin, Texas to visit my brother and sister and sister-in-law and niece and nephew and so we left for that trip on Wednesday and came back on Sunday and that was when I hit 28 weeks. So that trip was super fun. Uh, I will say it is a totally different ball game traveling with a toddler versus traveling on your own. And I think the fact that I was also in my third trimester of pregnancy and starting to get more uncomfortable, it definitely made the travel days feel a little bit longer and feel a little bit dif more difficult. But overall, it was a really, really great trip. I was nervous going and traveling kind of like this late in my pregnancy. I know women do it all the time, but there was some anxiety surrounding like what happens if I went into labor and I wasn't anywhere near home or if something happened in the airplane or just all kinds of things were kind of flooding my brain but thankfully I did some did take some time before we left and I researched some hospitals in the area and I tried to alleviate my anxieties that way. <laughs> so other than that, it was a really good trip. Like I said, we got to see my niece and my nephew and Viv got to see her cousins and it was just like, it was so fun. It was awesome. I'm actually in the middle of week 29 right now when I'm giving you guys this update. I just have been really busy and haven't had a chance to like really sit down and film an update. So the next video that I do, I will talk about weeks 28 and 29, but I think that pretty much covers the last couple of weeks. Moral of the story is I'm having more pelvic pain, more Braxton Hicks. I'm getting larger every day and I'm definitely entering my third trimester where I'm just not feeling as comfortable and I'm getting more tired. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Again, short update, but hopefully my next update will be a little bit more in depth. Uh, there are some things that have happened over the last like two or two weeks or so, um, week and a half, that I will update you guys in the next video. So look out for that and I will give you guys a quick update on how my bump is progressing. Here is a quick update on how my bump is progressing. I feel like every day now I wake up and baby is just a little bit higher and my belly is just a little bit bigger. So that is kind of where we are at for right now. So that's my bump update. So as you can tell, I'm definitely getting larger. Baby is growing and taking up a lot more room in my belly and I'm getting a lot more uncomfortable. So. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.